Welcome to Luxuriously Poor, and thank you for stopping by. And I really don't think we have a lot of time left before everything falls apart. Now, I want to show you what I do in these little containers. That right there is potatoes. They came up on their own. I don't remember planting them there, but my nut butter said I did. I had put one in there. That's some yellow squash that I'm growing in that pot. And I have some purple potatoes in another pot. This here is zucchini. I have a couple of squares of this. Uh, and I've actually, I, I have some zucchini on this already. You can grow enough in pots, even if you don't have enough space. Wherever you live, you can put a few pots out in front of your house, on the side of your house, maybe rain falls on one side of your house and you can put them under an east there or you know the eve of your house um i don't have that where water just falls off so this works for me very well and it, it does um i can get enough vegetables out of this to do me all summer this is right here those right there those little pot that's some purple potatoes i had bought some purple potatoes some were left over and I put two of them in there. We'll see what happens. This right here is what they call patty pan squash. They're a white one. I've got three different or four different kinds of squash growing here in these pots. Now, these were transplants from the other pots because there was too many in there. So what I did is I dug one up and I put it in there. And it's taken them a while to catch compared to the others but they are catching on they're doing really good and so that gave me even more and the squash will be coming in at different rates because you see these are bigger the two m ones are smaller but they'll catch up eventually and i'll have squash coming in at different times now this is garlic i actually planted a clove of garlic and it made a head of garlic and i took it up and then I tried this winter and put it in, and it's been growing. The garlic has been growing from that one head of garlic. And if it dies off, I may very well leave it there until next year to give it a chance to get even bigger. That's the thing. If you leave your garlic, it'll come back the next year, and it'll get even bigger. Now, this, I'm growing this in tires. This is cucumbers. I want you to see this. I have this covered up because rabbits will eat everything in sight they will and so birds will peck at the, the leaves on things and so will mice field mice so i put this netting and i just wanted to show you that around the cucumbers now as you see i opened the top of this and you can see down in there that's my cucumbers they're coming along it took them a while to come up but my seed is probably nine years old and this is a what you call a uh, a heritage seed these are time you can save and uh i'm just going to minute tire